Derby had two 16-year-olds in their midfield, but there was going to be only one hero emerging from this game. Brazilian Junior also tried to grab a headline, but the star of the show was hardly going to be bothered by that. The rest of the Sunderland team must have known what was ahead for the great man, tackling with determination in front of him, not wanting to burden their keeper with unnecessary work. Derby wasting their time from that distance. In the second half, Poon did have to chuck himself around once or twice, but his massive frame had everything covered if Ian Taylor had hit the target. Now, Poon must have realised his teammates at the other end could do with a bit of help. John Austin knocked in a decent ball, but Kevin Carl and Marcus Stewart between them couldn't get a breakthrough. Of course, the Estonian international had spent six happy years at Derby and was still a bit of a fan's favourite. Junior's shot was successfully dealt with. Poon's successor in the Derby goal wanted to show the job was in safe hands when Paul Furwell hit a strong drive and if Oakes was up to scratch. Then in the last minute, it looked like Poon's return was ruined. Simon Valkari's corner bundled in by Ian Taylor. But Mark Poon wasn't going to take this lying down. One minute of stoppage time, Sean Thornton's corner, and Poon! What a header! Pick that one out, the goal of a lifetime. Any centre forward you can think of would struggle to score a better goal than that. He took off. And no girly dancing and kissing afterwards, just straight back to his own patch. Having shown a lot of them, that is the way to do it. 1-1, one, one, job done. Players come back and score goals against you, but you don't expect that from a goalkeeper. And it was a phenomenal header, to be fair. I haven't met anybody who's got a bad word for him. Maybe, maybe one or two of the, the Rams supporters might just change their opinion after that header. I doubt it, because he's such a lovely guy. I, don't know, I thought I was good in there. I don't think I ever had a run like that. When we practice pro process with other goalkeepers, then like, if, if you're not in goal, then the other one or other two, they like, try to put the you know, goalkeeper off or act, act as a striker, but you know, you can't. You can't practice these things, you know, because normally you never have a chance to go another end, you know, and uh, yeah, it's still unbelievable.